shit, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Now's not a time to be worried about that camera. Uh oh, oh shit. Uh oh. Looks like it's picking up now. Uh oh, there he is. Uh, confront flee, uh. I'm gonna confront his ass. Almost missed that. She may get sucked in. Well, that didn't do much good. Oh yes, what is up everybody? If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're a new viewer, welcome in. That's uh, your truly the Trick or Trey here. I'm back with some more of that, the casting of Frank Stone. I believe this is chapter six, Beyond the Gate. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, as you can see from the last video, uh, poor Chris got uh, sucked into another dimension. Uh, we encountered the ghost of Frank Stone for the first time. I went with the confront option because normally in games like these, if you choose the cowardly option, your character dies. Chris's fate is left uh, uncertain. We don't know what happened to her, but hopefully we find out in this chapter. So let's jump into it, shall we? Yep, chapter six, Beyond the Gate. Morant Manor, 2024. If I said that right. Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay. It Let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? That is a good question. Right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try this? Good guess. Huh. Well, I wasn't actually Just expecting that there, to I work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. Yeah, that. Okay, let's turn that face cam back on. Uh, let's go check upstairs since uh, it opened up on us. Looks like we're playing as uh, Maddie again. And looks like uh, Linda's coming with us. Get out my way. Let's look for any uh, collectibles or trinkets or anything. Okay, it just goes up one floor, so let's start our exploring here. Got the key. Hopefully the game don't crash and we lose this key like the last video. You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. Yeah, I'm loving this game so far. I'm just not liking the, uh, the crashing and the losing progress in items when it happens. Okay, we got a invoice. <laughs> That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Hmm, 10 bands. I remember when they made Paranormal Activity, I think they only shot it for like $11,000. They did it in like the director's house. And surprisingly, that series made millions. Okay, there's something here. What's this? Movie review, Murder Mill. Since my big ass head is blocking, I'll read it to y'all. Movie review, Murder Mill, reviewed at the second Fiendish Desires Fan Festival by your correspondent, Rabbit Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill is its unskillful composition. The cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. Damn. The film sadly begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers to not scare us the audience, but instead show us how many other better horror films they've seen. The thing is, these aspects are not unusual in the genre and have, more or less, become pair for the course of the festival circuits. What was unusual, however, was the oddly unsettling feeling that blanketed 
the 10 p.m. audience from the first frame. And I honestly cannot explain why. It's like just a war on the back. The overall sense of dread that evening was palpable and unlike anything I have experienced before or am keen to experience again. The screening was mercifully cut short, though, as two festival goers began to assault nearby audience <laughs> members before turning on one another, turning what was below average movie going experience into absolute pandemonium. The reviewer could not get out of that theater fast enough. I'm not sure if this is a trick or a gimmick of some kind on the part of the filmmakers, and I'm not sure how that would even happen. But I'd have to imagine anyone with the mind to do something so devious would make a much better film than this. Okay. Man, just turn into the Royal Rumble in that bitch. <laughs> okay, let's do some more exploring or something here. Oh, another one of those dolls. The Legion. I want to make sure this room is fully explored before I disappear. Do do do. Looks like I pretty much got everything. Yep, I already read that. That was the invoice. Nothing in the middle. Okay, let's head back downstairs. This game started off slow, but it picked up in chapter five. Okay. Let's see if there's anything to do down here. Trinket box. Uh, I guess that key goes here. Hmm. Something's missing. Yep, something definitely is missing. That kind of looks like Hatchet. You know that uh, movie that Kane Hodder played in? Find the missing piece of the... How do you pronounce that? Diorama? Okay, let's find a missing piece. I guess I wouldn't find it there. Okay, it says look. Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? Is it giving us an option to, uh... It says it's missing a piece. Okay, let's head downstairs. Oh, I thought that was a door. I believe it was in chapter four, we found like a hidden surveillance room. Okay, we are downstairs. Let's take a look at this. Nothing there. Let me finish exploring this room before I just go in there. You're coming with me, buddy. Hmm. I guess this is what we take. Okay, let's go back in the camera room real quick. Well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just Look, I already picked that up in, uh, chapter four. Head back upstairs, and, uh, I guess we placed a statue in that, uh, cabinet. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here we go. Use item. Place. Ooh. Some kind uh, of had to take a quick sip. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. Oh, uh, let's go find out. <laughs> let's use the item. One I'm play Resident Evil with these puzzles. Reunited. Here we go. Okay, time to unlock that gate. I have a feeling about these uh these pictures that are hanging on the wall okay I read this in the uh, chapter 4 when I was already here oh you're gonna actually make me open it up 
Okay, give me the option to put the book down. There we go. Hmm. Looks like there's a small house painted in the corner of that. Oh, well, ironically, there's a hammer painted on that one. And there's a tree. Maybe it has something to do with this. Let's, tr let's give it a try. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe mm. it's a pattern. A pattern. I make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads. Let's and try heads. that pattern we saw. So we have a house. Then we had a hammer at the end. Then I think the middle was like a tree. Oh, the puzzle's right in our face. Huh. I think that's the fastest I've ever solved the puzzle in the game. Normally I'm on here for a while. Okay, this is oddly creepy. It's like something Batman would have in the Batcave with the statues of all the enemies he's beat up. Why is there a statue of a pig in the background? I don't know. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Looks like I'm Linda now. Hmm. Looks like some Eric Warren would wear. Wyatt Six. Uh. Uh oh, there's something in here. Right over there. It's like a museum for. I have no Where fucking you idea what. Must be a trinket Something in there. Unearthly yep. For sure. Victor, Victor Soldier. Okay. Hey, Linda. Check this out. There's a door here that I can open. Uh, I'm gonna reframe for that for now. Let's uh, do some more exploring. Why is this table highlighted? Yeah, we'll come back to it later. There's this. What does this do? Oh, I got a riot broadcast. Nice. Some sort of protest, or I don't know. Uh, all, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public as well as police and medical. Doesn't like there's much in this room. Okay, this is highlighted. Let's take a look. Well, that's cheery. Kind of gives me uh vibes from that painting by Edward Munch, The Scream. Just a more demonic looking version. Okay, can I interact with any of these statues? I can interact with that door. And I think I can interact with this door. Okay, let's go with this one first. Figures. Huh. Both doors are locked. I guess I got a, oh, there's a third door. Okay. Oh, that one's locked too. Holy shit. See, there's any more doors around here. Just gives me the option to look at that, uh, rabbit mask. Oh, I don't think I looked at this yet. This whole place is like a film set. Acadian Demon. Mesopot- I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce that. <laughs> 23rd century BCE. Statue from Acadian Empire. Cruniform on the fragmentary clay tablets discovered nearby suggests it represents a mythological demon. Worshippers believed it, uh, it capable of bestowing supernatural power in exchange for their devotion, protecting them and destroying their enemies. Okay. Okay, well, hold on. Something said pick up. Oh, there's something on the uh, table. Hold the fear, Justine Goffrey. Or Geoffrey, if I said that right. I'm just gonna say Geoffrey. 
It is the 1960s and America is in crisis, eager to escape the era's political turbulence. A band of idealists start building a new society under the guidance of their charismatic leader. Before long, their numbers swell, with hunters leaving their hardships behind to join the fold. But making the perfect world demands more than affirming uh, mantras and a positive mindset. Soon the personal troubles of the flock start to poison their paradise and things take a real turn for the worse. Well, let's open it up. How many pages is this? Yeah, I think I'm going to skip out on reading all that. Let's get on with the game. Okay, fiction book. If there's anything else to interact with is highlighted. I'm not seeing it besides this. Uh, Well, this table was highlighted. Let's see if we talk to one of the characters. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Frank Stone's mask. Is that dried blood? It is. Oh, we interact with this. Okay, I'm pulling it. There we go. But I thought that this was a is... pistol. No. There's no way. It can't be. Broken Super 8 camera. It hey, can't Linda. be. You should really come see. Ooh, just cracked my back. That felt good. What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? Oh, I don't you know. tell me. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Uh, Maybe it's... Yeah. That too. Uh oh, what's that? Oh, somebody's coming. Shit! Blocked his ass. Okay. Take that, bitch. It's probably Sam. Sheriff Green. Oh crap! It is. We just assaulted the police officer. Alrighty, it's the trigger tray here. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Thanks for watching. Now, that was a relatively short chapter. If you're new here, you can call me Trey or T3 for short. The trigger tray just sounds weird. And if you ever question why I got that name, it's actually my gamer tag. I just chose as my stage name. But uh, do me a favor. If you enjoyed the view, please thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll definitely be seeing you in the future on some more epic gaming adventures. Peace.